Hi, I'm Beth from Abe Books. You may remember that some time ago I did an avid reader feature called Undercover, Judging People by Their Books. In there, one of the things I mentioned was that with the prevalence and increasing popularity of electronic readers, I would really miss being able to go into somebody's home for the first time if they were somebody I was dating or a new friend and surreptitiously, or openly, look at their bookshelves and judge them a little by what they had. A lot of readers mentioned that maybe I should put my money where my mouth is and show off one of my bookshelves. So that's what I'm doing. You get a virtual tour of my bookshelf. It's only one of the shelves in my home, but I think it's the one that shows the best variety, and I promise I didn't even take out anything embarrassing first. For a little while I got completely obsessed with book decoration from the late 19th and early 20th century. During that time they were really big on decorated cloth with a lot of gilt and really beautiful patterns. So for a little while I spent money I probably shouldn't have on books that I loved just for their covers. Including this one, The Book of Bugs by Harvey Sutherland. Some Brave Boys and Girls by Edith Kenyon which uh, I like the work on the spine here as well. Days Off by Henry Van Dyke, whose cover I thought was just beautiful. And uh, probably the priciest book I've ever bought, Life of Japan by Masuji Miyakawa. This is the 1910 uh, edition with the highly decorated cover. It has gilt edged pages, it has Mount Fuji and a sunrise here and the cherry blossoms with the title in gilt. And I absolutely loved it. It uh, took me quite a while to find this one because typically their reprints are print on demand now. Unfortunately, my copy uh, has seen better days and I'm going to need to have it rebound, but uh, it's really beautiful and I love it. Uh, some of the other sort of more unusual or maybe collectible items that I have include uh, a fairly scarce Triangle Books edition of Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. This was a birthday gift from my mother uh, here in Victoria, BC. This is a book called Songs Unbidden by the Prospector. And it doesn't have a publication date in it, but it's clearly old. And it's uh, poems written by a Victoria area prospector. And uh, that one's really neat as well. I've enjoyed looking through that. Uh, as well, I don't think these are worth anything to anyone but me, but these are copies of Treasure Island, Tom Sawyer, and Robin Hood, which were gifted to my father in 1946 when he was in the fourth grade, and are all inscribed to him from his fourth grade teacher and have his handwriting in them. So those are quite special to me as well. This is another one that's so beautiful, and again does not have a publication date, but is clearly quite old, and has really seen better days in terms of condition. But what I love about it is that it has 12 absolutely gorgeous color plates throughout the text that are just beautifully done. Uh, this is another one that I'm going to have some restorative work done to at some point. Moving on to the more just average reader stuff, uh, I went through a phase where I was really in love with Roddy Doyle and so I have a lot of his books as well. I think Patty Clark, Ha 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 and The Snapper are probably my favorites. Uh, the Bean Trees and The Lacuna by Barbara Kingsolver. She's an author that I very much like and have enjoyed reading. Jean Luen Yang is uh, an author and illustrator who wrote American Born Chinese, a graphic novel that I would recommend above almost any other graphic novel, and another called The Eternal Smile, which I also enjoyed very much. He's got a new one coming out right now called Level Up, which I plan to look into just as soon as I can. Uh, another Canadian author, who I believe this is the only book she's ever written, is Lullabies for Little Criminals by Heather O'Neill, which is uh, a fiction, a, a novel about uh, a young woman growing up faster than she should in uh, Eastern Canada. I also, for a while, uh, was very much into, and this is a little morbid, but when somebody passed away, uh, seeing if there was a signed book by them, and I was very excited because I found this copy of Michael Jackson's Moonwalk, uh, which came to Australia uh, the same day that he passed away. And uh, I was very excited because when it arrived, it had not only a signature, but also a drawing. And uh, I was very excited until I realized that those are actually printed in as part of the book and uh, come with every copy of this printing. But it's still a neat thing to have. As well, I have uh, two books signed by Michael Crichton, including a gift edition of Jurassic Park, 
and a first edition of State of Fear, both of those signed by Crichton. And uh, those ones I may sell one day, but I think I want to read them first. <laughs> Another author and illustrator who I very much enjoy is Jordan Crane, who wrote The Clouds Above and The Last Lonely Saturday. And these are just really sweet, poignant little stories with illustrations that go along with them that are surprisingly touching. And uh, The Clouds Above in particular, it was a Christmas gift from my partner and I, I really love it. The last two things I'll mention, which uh, I have had since my childhood, and they are very dear to me, are these two old hardcover uh, compendiums of Peanuts cartoons, which uh, are neat because they're clearly very old, and uh, when you look at the drawings, it's, it's the really old classic Peanuts. So I like these a lot, and uh, hope to pass them on to young people that are important to me one day. So that's it. That is my bookshelf with uh, I hope what you feel is a good balance of readable and collectible and comics and things I bought just because they're beautiful. If you have any comments on anything you found particularly striking or embarrassing, please feel free to let us know. And I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, try not to judge me too harshly. Remember, it's not so much what you're reading, it's that you're reading at all. Thanks! <laughs>